My dream in life is to play professional football, to follow a professional career. And I know that in order to find a good professional team, you have to do well in the World Cup. Fabien Vorbe will be leading from the front when Haiti make their debut in this month's FIFA Under-17 World Cup in South Korea. We don't accept that any team is better than us. Even faced with the Brazilians, the English, we say that the Haitians are better, and that's what we're trying to show. Fabian is part of a Haitian football dynasty. One of his uncles, Dominic, is his country's football coordinator, and another, Philippe, was a member of the famous Haitian Warriors team that appeared in the finals of the FIFA World Cup back in 1974. Football is for us a religion and we are looking at it as a way to glue the country back. One of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere, Haiti's footballing resurrection is all the more remarkable given the social and cultural upheavals the country has undergone over the past 50 years. Three years ago, violence erupted and the entire country was engulfed in civil unrest. The country's national sports training center, funded at a cost of half a million dollars by FIFA, was amongst those buildings destroyed in an orgy of anarchy. And when I was watching those things on TV, and I really was hurt, and papers were flying, and people were taking toilet and going home with it, or taking the bench to have the massage and going home with it, or burning it. But three years on, out of the flames of despair, a new dawn beckons for Haiti. Both center and country are being rebuilt. And one of the first groups to benefit are the youngsters of Haiti's under-17 squad as they prepare for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Through football, these young warriors are hoping to reunite a nation once again. In Haiti, young people say that nothing's really important other than the World Cup. In Haiti, everyone was saying they always talk about Haiti's misfortunes. But by getting here, it means that the country is beginning to get better. For us, it's a great step for the future of this country as well to take part in this World Cup. Life on and off the football field in Haiti is for now at least showing encouraging signs of moving in the right direction. Without football, my family would not have survived. Football made me, and I want to give back, and hopefully I may influence two, three, four, five kids and make them, and then back then they will go back. For Fabien, the Under-17 World Cup offers him the opportunity to make his dream come true, to transform his life, to follow in the footsteps of the likes of Figo, Messi and Fabregas, players who represented their countries at previous Under-17 World Cups. We're going to play with teams from countries such as Brazil, France and England, serious football countries. They are the ones who are going to ask us to turn professional and ask whether we'll play for them and go on to play international football. And we'll say yes.